Good evening, I'm Marvin Bartlett. And I'm Imani Payne. Thanks for joining us. State lawmakers trying to figure out why help for child advocacy centers is being held up. It's part of a law passed earlier this spring to reimburse some Medicaid services. And as Bodie Brooks reports, lawmakers pressed cabinet members over why no payments have been made. Yeah, guys, the state's child advocacy centers serve as a first line of defense for kids that have dealt with abuse or neglect. Rates where Kentucky unfortunately leads across the nation. Senator Julie Rocky Adams sponsored the bill, saying the help is long overdue, but the help has yet to arrive. We required it. So on April 1st, it took effect. Crickets. A dereliction of duty. That is how Senator Julie Rocky Adams is describing enforcement of Senate Bill 8, a child welfare reform bill. Part of it includes paying back child advocacy centers certain Medicaid costs. You have known since July of 2021 with testimony before this committee that these child advocacy centers were woefully underfunded and they needed this increased Medicaid reimbursement. Adam says no action on last year's testimony is why she sponsored the bill this year, and the delay is beyond frustrating. It has been a priority since it, since it came through. We've just had a little bit more difficulty than we expected in, a, in determining the reimbursement rates. Jonathan Scott, speaking for the Cabinet for Health and Family Services, says there's worry that the centers could be overpaid and create more problems. We want to make sure that we give them a a rate that reflects their, their true costs, that reflects their costs, but does not expose them to the danger of closing at, at the end of every year. We really want to avoid an overpayment. That's ridiculous on its face. These child advocacy centers are operating on just a shoestring budget. They are underfunded, if anything. Overpayment is not a worry. And the Cabinet for Health and Family Services told me in a statement they have been working with all 15 children's advocacy centers to define reimbursement details. The Cabinet recognizes the importance of the implementation of Senate Bill 8, and a final amendment will be filed this month. That amendment will also need approval from the federal government. Marvin Imani. Thank you, Bodie.